Hello and welcome, my friends and viewers, to this week's episode of Legend Lore, where I draw pictures of monsters, characters, gods, and other things from D&D 5th Edition, while giving a small bit of quickly digestible history about them. Together, we'll go over their origins within the game, how they're utilized in the modern edition, and how I like to utilize them in my own games. Today, we will be looking at the recently revitalized character that I've come to very much enjoy, the powerful witch, Tasha. Tasha, sometimes known as Igwiliv in her appearances in the third edition of Dungeons & Dragons, is a powerful archmage originating from the world of Orth in the Forgotten Realms campaign setting. Known for being the adopted daughter and apprentice of the legendary witch Baba Yaga, Tasha was a skilled arcane practitioner and demonologist, known for creating her own name spells such as Tasha's Hideous Laughter, and more recently, Tasha's Caustic Brew, Mind Whip, and Otherworldly Guise, all found in Wizards of the Coast's Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. In time, Tasha would change her name to Igwiliv upon her ascension to becoming the Witch Queen, and would be predominantly known for her complicated association with the demon lord Grotzt, the Dark Prince, with whom she shares a relationship that ranges from lovers to enemies depending on the situation. Through this interaction, Grotzt taught Tasha many things that would greatly empower her, and the two of them would go as far as to have a child together, a half-fiend known as Ayuz the Evil. In terms of her level of magical strength, she is believed to rival the likes of both Mordekainen and Elminster Almar, and has written a palpable tome of demonic lore known as the Dynamicon of Igwiliv. An interesting fact about Tasha and Igwiliv is that they were originally separate characters before being retconned into the same person in the 2017 adventure Expedition to the Ruins of Greyhawk for D&D 3.5. She is also known for having a quasi-familiar. In terms of physical look, Tasha has pale skin and has a distinct runic mark on her face that may be either painted or tattooed on. She wears a traditional witch's hat with dark robes and a waist belt, and is almost always seen with her spellbook and titular cauldron. In my piece, I depict both her third edition original incarnation and her newest one, along with a small easter egg to Grodz in the background. In my games, I often have Tasha appear as a mentor to the player characters, particularly wizards and fiendish warlocks. She'll sometimes identify and or provide magical items for the party, and sometimes recruit them into her cadre of burgeoning arcane practitioners, especially if they're interested in the lower planes and in the study of demons. Sometimes she'll even be a quest giver for the party, asking them to collect rare components and lore that she requires to bind and study particularly powerful demons. Likewise, the party may find her traversing through the lower planes in her witch queen form, studying demons up close and carving out her own little space deep within the abyss. However, this more often than not leads good aligned parties to oppose her on principle, and in my games I have her carry a distinct but playful rivalry with Mordekainen, the both of them sort of being two sides of the same coin. Her cauldron and the Dynamicon that she had written are both very powerful items in my world as well, useful for those who would risk her wrath by trying to steal them. Both of Tasha's incarnations have their own appeal, one the ambitious witch wizard building the foundations of her power, and the other an unstoppable mortal force wielding abyssal powers and commanding her own piece of the demonic world. I want to thank all of you guys for watching, and if you want to keep updated on the next Legend Lore, please subscribe to the channel. Please press the little bell icon to be notified of the next video. Follow me on social media for progress of each art piece. And also comment down below about how you use Tasha in your games and who you would like to see in any upcoming videos. Until then, I'll see all of you guys next time.